The help is just one example of disaster bringing communities together. In Wachula, we first told you on Friday about people displaced after their apartment complex caught fire during the storm. No first responders could make it out due to the conditions. Now, more than a week after the devastation, 10 Tampa Bay's Miranda Parnell explains how neighbors are leaning on one another to get through this tragedy. Twisted metal and debris. That's all that's left of this Wachula apartment building. And the people who lived here tell me that even when it feels like no one else is there to help, they're learning they can count on this community. Mothers. I just feel like, because I lost everything that I just don't want to live no more sometimes when I think about it. Fathers. I just try to laugh just to try to keep from like not letting it overwhelming families trying to figure out what's next after a fire likely caused by Hurricane Ian's wing gusts ripped through their Valencia Gardens apartment building, leaving nothing but rubble behind. Start all over. And as the storm cleared, neighbors processed the loss of everything from photo albums. My mom passed last year and I had all the pictures. To beloved pets. It was actually my oldest daughter's uh, birthday that day. Like, I don't think she's ever going to forget this. Now, as they try to find new homes in a hurry during a housing crisis, they say for them, people really don't have nowhere to go after this. Everybody's scrambling to find somewhere to live. Help has been slow to come by. That is until neighbors stepped in. We're helping each other. Neighbors from the building next to the destroyed apartments had their own smoke and water damage during the storm and... Our power was out for six days. We had to throw away a lot of food. But even with little to no food, no power, and rent still due, they still did whatever they could to keep the community first by heading to a grocery store that had to toss out frozen goods. Throwing away food that was good, that they had, it was still frozen. We went and went there, they had it in a dumpster back there. Neighbors brought that food back to the complex, breaking out charcoal grills to cook it immediately so that everyone could have something to eat. And everybody just come and got a plate. They give what they can, even though they ain't got much because they ain't had power for a week. They are like my angel, I could say. In Wachula, Miranda Parnell, 10 Tampa Bay. Tonight, FEMA is offering help to those left without a home in 19 counties across the state, activating a transitional sheltering assistance program for survivors. Eligible counties include Sarasota, Hardy, Highlands, Manatee, Hillsborough, Pinellas, and Polk. Those who have applied for disaster assistance could be eligible to stay in a hotel or motel room paid by FEMA. You can apply for this by visiting disasterassistance.gov.